In this video, we're going to create a new transform data resource. We've already looked at uh, how to use an existing data resource and looked at a lot of the data resources that are provided to us, um, but sometimes you might need to create a new one. Uh, and I think one of the most common types of data resources that our customers and partners are going to be creating uh, are the transform data resource. Uh, so the job of a transform data resource is to basically take some sort of input and then transform it or reformat it uh, to a different output. Uh, so the most common use case for this is you might have a GraphQL data resource. Uh, you're doing a GraphQL query and then the results you get back uh, are you know this json blob uh, that's formatted in the same way that your query is so you know it may be hard to use um, and your component uh, that you're trying to bind it to uh, may need a different format and so that's where the transform data resource comes in uh, you can take that um, you know maybe hard to use uh, format and then uh, reformat it using uh, some JavaScript and then output to whatever you want your output to be. Um, so what we're going to do in this video uh, is we're going to do a pretty simple and maybe not totally realistic use case uh, where I want in this uh, component, I want it to say uh, my username's to-dos, and I think my username in this instant, uh, instance is Brad Administrator. So it would say Brad Administrator's to-dos. Uh, so right now I have this title, um, and I also have uh, a data resource that I'm using to grab the user information of the logged in user. So this uh, lookup user data resource, and I can see that I've got this um, property in here called uh, Brad Administrator. Uh, so what I could do is I could just make my title say Brad Administrator by binding it to this value, um, but I want to do something uh, a little more complex and also have it say some text. And so I can't do that uh, without um, you know doing something else to it. Uh, so there are a few different ways you could do that. Um, you could run a client script. Uh, you could probably use a client state variable. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, use case to demonstrate how you would create a transform data resource. So let's get started. I'm going to click Add, uh, and then I'm going to click New, and it's going to ask me what kind of data resource I want to create. Uh, there's the five different kinds. I'm going to select Transform, and it's going to give me uh, this screen. So let's call it um, Transform. Form uh, user name title. Those are a bunch of words. Um, so the next thing I need to do is give it uh, a property. So I have a property already configured. Uh, so let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, so the property is going to be uh, the input uh, for the data resource. I can have multiple properties. Uh, so, you know, if, if this data resource was a query, uh, my properties could be like a table name and query parameters. Uh, but for this one, it's just going to be that display name. So I'm going to give it a name, user display name, a label. So what shows up on the form. Uh, and then there's some other uh, attributes of this property. Uh, field type is an important one. So this is going to be a string. Uh, I, I think it would also be really common for this to be an object. Uh, and I'm going to make it mandatory. And then the other thing I need to do is to write a script. Uh, so you can see in my script here, uh, my input is going to be an object that has all of these properties that I define. So my display name is going to be input dot user display name which matches to the name of this property uh, and then I'm just going to create a message and return this message so it should say system or Brad administrators open to do's so let's go ahead and save this <clears throat> and then we'll go into UI builder and we're gonna try to use it uh, let's zoom back out all right, so let's go here and add our newly created data resource. Uh, you'll notice I'm in my simple to do spoke. Uh, so that was created in my simple to do spoke. Uh, so transform username title, that looks right. 
Uh, and when I click on it, uh, it's going to tell me, hey, you have this user display name input and uh, you're outputting um, the, uh, the whole string. So let's go add. All right, and it's telling me I don't have permission to select this data resource. Well, that's odd. ACL failed for data broker. Uh, so one of the steps when you're creating a new data resource is that you have to create an ACL for it. And let's walk through that. Uh, so I'm going to need the sys ID of my data resource. And then we're going to create an ACL. So I'm going to elevate my roles. And then we'll go ACL. <clears throat> we'll hit new. Uh, the type is going to be UX data broker. Uh, so there are going to be some places in the platform where you see the term data broker. Uh, it is synonymous with data resource. Uh, I think we renamed them from data brokers to data resources at one point. Uh, so just know that. And then for the name, uh, you may have to use the blue button to change the mode from the drop downs uh, to the string field. Uh, but in the name, I'm just going to put the sys ID that I copied from that data resource. And then I need to give it some sort of role. Uh, so I'm just going to say SNC internal because I know that uh, all of my users in this instance have that role. So we'll submit. And then let's hop back over to UI Builder. Uh, let's, let's save it. Uh, oh, I don't need to refresh. It saved it for me. So uh, we did get some output. So our, our step that we need now is I need to um, input that username from the lookup user uh, into this property that I defined. So I know that that is lookup user one. And then let's see what we have. So full name, I think, is what we wanted. And uh, that looks right. Uh, so we input Brad Administrator, our transform data resource, uh, took this and then also added uh, the last part of the text here. And our last step is that we need to go ahead and bind that output uh, to the title in our to-dos. So the name of this data resource was transform username title. So data resource transform username title. And that was the output and it worked here. So we have the right name. Let's save it and test it. And that did it. So obviously this was a really simple use case, um, but I just wanted to demonstrate some of the steps, uh, right? You have to create your transform data resource. Uh, you have to define your properties and then write some sort of script. And then that last step is that you have to create a read ACL or an execute ACL uh, so that uh, UI Builder can uh, read your data resource.